Hi, this is Will and for this tutorial I just wanted to go over a few things that I kind of missed out from the last tutorial and this one is on locks and this one is going to a, a bit more in depth than doing model to model locking. So to start off I'm just going to make this small create a child of the bigger one. So I'm going to come up to the controller of the parent and I'm going to drag that down to the position of the child here. And now when I move the parent around you can see that the child is following around nicely. And if I rotate him you can see that he moves but he his rotation is staying the same and what's happening here is it's actually his world that is moving so if you would imagine there's a grid here now when I move this he's staying in the same place on the grid because he is staying in the same place in his world and it's really his world that is moving so he's just staying in the same place in his world and that was position locking now if I break that, I'm going to drag that down to rotation. So now when I rotate that, you can see that he's not translating, he's just rotating about his original point. And what's happening here is that, same thing with translating, his rotation isn't changing in the local axes. However, his world is rotating. So he's just facing the same angle in his world, but it's more that his world is moving and he's just pointing the same direction in his world. His world is the axis of this parent. And if I was to drag it down to the name of the controller for the child, then it locks both them, position and rotation. So now, when I move that, you can see that his rotation is staying the same as the parent. And he is translating with the parent. So his world is moving and he's just staying in the same place in his world. The next thing that I want to demonstrate is locking a model to another model. And to do that I'm just going to add a sequence in to this medic. So I like taunt 8. So now we can see that the curves have changed so the medic is He's doing his taunt, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the mackerel to the medic's hand. So with uh, models, what Valve have done is they've given you another controller, which is a child of the hand. So the weapon bone is what you can attach weapons and other items to. So I'm just going to drag that down to the weapon bone of the mackerel. So now the mackerel is a child of the medic's hand, or the medic's weapon bone. And so if I play that through, you see that the mackerel kind of stays in place. And the reason for that is because it's counter-animating the movement of the medic's hand so that the mackerel can stay in place. So I'm going to drag the playhead controller. And now you can see that the mackerel is going to move with the medic's hand, but he's not quite in the medic's hand yet. So I'm going to press the up arrow key, then I'm going to drag the default controller, and that, remember how I said that when you parent something to another thing, its world axis changes. So now his world is the weapon bone, and so when I set default, it's going to set all the curves here to zero and the zero position is that controller. So now he is at the zero location of his world, which is the controller. So that's why default and zero would both do the same thing. So I'll just undo that. And I've got the macro selected here. I'll drag zero instead of default. The same thing's going to happen. So now that placed him in the medic's hand. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it's like to unlock something. So about there, that's where I want the mackerel to be unlocked. I'll just press enter so that it sets the curves in the motion editor. And now I'm going to click the lock. And now if you look at the curves here, they've changed because his world is now the global axes. So he no longer has the parent, which is the hand. So when I play that through, his axis is the world. So he's moving according to the world to stay in the medic's hand. And if I was to grab the root transform of the medic, press the up arrow key, come here, move the medic away, 
you'll see that he's moving in accordance to the medic's hand, but he's not actually a child of the medic's hand. So there's that. back to where I was and so I'm going to unlock the mackerel about there and I want the mackerel to stay in place about there so I want it to kind of look like the medic puts the medic puts it there in space and then he picks it up later so I'm going to put the start of the time selection where the playhead is because I can see where that is, and then I'm going to drag the playhead preset, which is going to set all of these curves to the same value as where that playhead is, which is going to keep the mackerel there. So you now you now see these curves are straight, or these they're now lines. So since he's in world, he's unlocked. He's going to stay there. Then I want him to be picked up again by the medic. So about there, I want him to be reparented. Just press enter. So now look at these curves here. I've got the macro selected and I'm in the motion editor and if you look at these curves I'm going to parent it by dragging the medic's weapon bone down to the holy macro's weapon bone. And now look at these curves. If you noticed before you can see that the curves have kind of reversed. So now he has been reparented, so his world has changed again. So he's staying in place for his parent. He's staying in one location relative to his parent. Then this is where he's unlocked. He's still parented, but his animation is being countered. So he's counter animating the, the movement of the medic's hand. Now, again, I'm going to set the same thing as the start. I'm going to time select the end here. Then I'm going to drag the playhead. So now let's set these curves to stay in this position relative to wherever the medic's hand is. So now again we can see that his curves are flat so he's not moving relative to his parent which is the medic's hand. But the medic's hand is moving so he moves with it. So he's staying in one place in his world, and his world is moving. Another thing is that you don't have to parent just to the weapon bone. Say for instance, I want to reparent this at one point, so I'm going to unparent that just to start off with. But now you can see he still does the same thing that I want him to. If you look if you look over here at the locks, he's unparented, so that must mean he's in the world space. So he you can see these curves, they mean that he's moving in the world, but then he's staying still in the world and he's moving in the world again. And it just so happens that he's moving in accordance in synchronization to the medic's hand. I'm not gonna select all of time. Uh, set playhead so now he's in the world and he's in one place then I'm going to get the head of the medic actually I'm going to the head drag that down to the macros weapon bone then I'm going to set the default and now the medic has a mackerel on his head so you can parent this to any part of the medic that you want to. Parent it to his pelvis. Oh god. Make it stop. <laughs> uh, that's not right. That's not right. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm. I'm. No. No. 
No.